was just wondering where you were at. I had a new trainee examination. A little late. Yeah, I get it. It's easy to get turned around in here, huh? Yeah. No matter. I'll go ahead and take a seat. Let's see. So, do you happen to have a file with you? Okay, I'd love to see that. Excellent, and let's take a look. Your first day? Yeah? Ah, I see. So, you've already been debriefed, right? Good. And it looks like you have already signed your consent forms. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna take a peek. I wanna be doubly sure. And there it is. All right, very good. So that's all taken care of. Excellent. So we've got all those little bureaucratic necessities out of the way. Looks like we are doing your physical examination. You've already done your psychological testing, right? Okay. And obviously, if you wouldn't have passed that, you wouldn't be standing in front of me. But it looks like you passed that with flying colors, which is good. And should you become full employee. It looks like we'll do a cranial nerve exam at a later time. Yeah, I'll get some of that out of the way with this, so at least we have a basic understanding. Make sure that you are, that your senses are not impaired in any way. But generally, every year, our employees go through these testings just to make sure that the, that the nature of the work hasn't worn down on said person. We like to make sure that everybody's in tip-top shape at all times. It's both for the safety of yourself and our SCPs. Okay? Alright, so that's already approved. We can go in with our exam. I'm going to go ahead and just, there we go, sanitize my hands. There we are. Very good. So, I saw in your file that you are going to be seen by Smith, is that correct? Met her yet? Maybe in passing? Yeah. So, Dr. Smith is one of our absolute best employees. You'll be in great care with her. Okay? She'll make sure to keep you safe. And, just want to make sure I've got This all taken care of, okay. And for this examination, I am going to need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Have your permission to do that? Perfect. I'm gonna put on some gloves. We like to be extraordinarily sanitary here. Very important for our for our employees and for our SCPs. Okay, so I'd love to get some vitals first. Okay, form a baseline. 
we're going to start with your temperature, okay? So I'm just going to have you open your mouth for me. Okay, and lift up your tongue. And go ahead and lay your tongue back down for me. Wonderful. We'll just wait here a few moments. Wait for our thermometer to get up to temp. Excellent. There we are. So, what exactly was it that you did before this job? Mm hmm. I see. All right. Well, that skill set will definitely work well in this sector, I think. Now, I want to take your pulse. Do you have any preference as to which side I measure that from? Okay. Right over here. So, I'm just going to place my index and middle fingers right below the base of your thumb. That's good. You have a bounding pulse. Very strong. Okay. Excellent. That's a great resting heart rate. Let's do your blood pressure, okay? So I am going to just pop in my stethoscope firstly. That frees my hands for getting everything else. Okay, adjust that a bit. These things can always be so, so finicky, I think. And let's grab our sphygmo manometer. Okay. So, since I did this arm with your pulse, I'm going to just take your blood pressure with this arm. Okay. be quite firm, but it's only for a few seconds. It shouldn't be unbearable. I'm just going to place the stethoscope on the crook of your arm. Okay. And I'm just going to be inflating the cup. I want to make sure Ready to go? this a little bit later, but for now, I'm just going to put that down. Okay. I'm quite pleased with your blood pressure. Great. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little inspection over your body as a whole, okay? I'm just going to sit back for a moment. I'm just going to get a better look at you. Looking at your head, neck, along your shoulders, your chest, and down your body, just looking for any outward signs of anything that I need to take a closer look at, or, or that I may need to note down, okay? And I think just on that little, just on that little look, I think that that we can proceed without needing any special further investigation. So I'm going to start with your head, okay? This is where I get a little closer, and I'm just going to start with looking at your hairline. Now here at the SCP Foundation, we have to be very conscientious about any possible travelers we bring along. We want to make sure we're not bringing any disease or infestation. Our creatures, SCPs, rather, our SCPs can be quite sensitive. So we want to make sure that we're not. Just want to feel along your skull a bit. The contours and the ridges. Very good. Okay. Alright, so I'm just taking a quick look at your face while I'm here. Looking at the skin. The air distribution along your eyebrows. There. And any textural changes, any signs of swelling, redness, irritation. And just basic stuff like that. Just your basics. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and check on your lymph nodes real quick. Okay. So I'll be feeling from the back of your head, towards the front, down the neck, along the clavicle. There's so many different node sites along your head and your neck. So you'll just feel me kind of rolling the skin around and looking for any distension, or any changes in the lymph system. Okay? Right. When I come back here to look for the occipital nodes at the hairline, generally speaking, Like a massage. Okay, 
So from the occipital nodes, usually come more in front here. So I'm going to work the post auricular nodes behind the ears. And then we come up to the pre auricular nodes here. Okay. We go down to the parotid glands. Just in case, while we're here, down to the jugular digastric. Okay, and up underneath your jaw, we have the submandibular. superficial cervical and the deep cervical chain and posterior cervical and along the clavicle we have the supraclavicular lymph nodes seem to be nice and unordinary, which is good. Let's see here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a little peek at your eyes. You just feel around here. Okay. And I'm just going to pull down on your eyelids. I want you to look up. Pulling down, look up. Okay. And you can blink for a second. Alright. And I'm going to pull up. And I want you to look down, okay? So, pulling up, look down. Good. Those tissues look... Look normal. No inflammation. Discoloration. Okay? And you can blink a couple of times. <laughs> That's not a fun one, but... It's something we... We have to check on. Okay? So let me just take a little just a little peek at your eyes. This light. It may be a little bright. I want you to be aware of that. You're more than welcome to blink as you need. Okay? It's not a problem. any point you need a little break, you just let me know, okay? Good. Okay. Very good. You don't have to look at the light. You can look just straight ahead. do some tests, okay? Looks like, per your medical history, you do have 20-20 vision, correct? Good, okay. You don't wear glasses or contacts? Alright. Okay, so, we're gonna do the swinging light test. I want you to just look straight ahead for me. And focus on my nose, if that helps. Okay? I'm just going to 
bring our light in and swing it from one eye to the other. One eye to the other. One eye. Good. Let's do the direct consensual response test. I'm going to be putting my hand up between your eyes, okay, to block them off from one another. I'm going to be shining the light into one eye, and the eye that's being shined into will react to the light. That's going to be our direct response. And if I shine that light in that same eye, your other eye, even though it's being blocked, will react in the exact same way. And that is our consensual response, as your eyes are consensually reacting to the light. Okay? It's not super important for you to know, but I'd just like you to kind of be aware of what's going on, give you a little info. Okay? It's going to be blocking your eyes. Okay, we're just going to come in and look for the direct, direct, direct response, and the consensual, consensual, consensual. There we go. The other side. Direct. Direct. Direct response. Consensual. 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 Very good. Looks great. So now we're going to do a couple of tests where we're going to be we're going to be moving your eyes a little, okay? First we're going to do the follow the light test. I'm going to scoot back a little bit here. And I want you to focus on this little light here. And to the best of your ability, I want you to follow this light using only your eyes without moving your head, okay? Just to the best of your ability, okay? Let's move. Move the light, and I just want you to follow the light. Good. Just track the light with your eyes. Follow that light to the best of your ability. Good. Good. Okay. Let's change it up a little bit. Go up and down the side. Change it up again. Keep your eyes on the light. Diagonally down. Diagonally down. Diagonally up. Diagonally up. Diagonally down. Diagonally down. Diagonally. Down. Diagonally up. Now, I want you to look at the wall behind me real quick, okay? And then look at this light, right? We're going to test your accommodation reflex. I want you to keep your eyes on the light without moving your head. We're going to go 
in and out in out in and out good and look at the wall behind me here good and look at our light Follow it best as you can. So we go in and out, in and out, in and out. Very good. All right. You need to take a moment to blink. Just going to write some things down. Let's see. All right, let's do a couple more tests. So I am going to have you just look at my nose here, okay? And I'm just going to be in your peripheral vision here, I'm going to be wiggling my fingers, okay? I just want you to tell me which side is wiggling, left or right, okay? That's all you gotta do. Just keep your eyes focused on my nose, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Great. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay. And now we're going to do one more test with your periphery. Have you focus on my nose again. This time I'm going to flash numbers. I just want you to tell me what number you see flash, okay? All right, ready? Two, four, five, one, two, going to be moving on and I want to take a look at your ears, okay? You had any issues with your hearing at all or any pain, irritation, any feelings of fullness in the ears? No? Okay, very good. here? Any pain? Any tenderness? No? Okay. 
Very good. Let me take a quick peek inside your ears. It's going to use my little otoscope here. I'm gonna look inside your ears. You just let me know if you feel any pain, okay? like your ears physically look great. Okay, and let's do just just a couple of hearing tests. You mentioned you didn't have anything off of your hearing, but I just want to make sure. Okay, so first we're going to do a little finger rustle test. Okay, so I want you to close your eyes for me. Close your eyes. And you just let me know what side you hear the rustling on, okay? Right. Good. Mm-hmm. the sound start, okay? Mm hmm Good. Mm hmm Mm hmm Great. Mm hmm Good. And I want you to tell me when you hear the sound end, okay? Whispering into each ear. I want you to tell me what it is that you hear. Okay? All right. numbers. Very good. Okay. 45, 92, 3, 71, 35. What 
were those numbers? Excellent. Okay, that's great. So hearing seems to be well and intact. Right? And I'm going to there we are. I'm gonna grab a new speculum for our otoscope. And we are going to take a little look at your nose. If you had any problems with your sense of smell or taste at all? No? Okay. Real quick before I get into your nose, I want to just feel around the sinus cavities, if you don't mind. Just let me know if they are painful or tender. nose, anything there, and along your cheeks, anything here, what about your forehead? Anything here? No, very good. Let's go ahead and look at your nose then. I'm going to ask you to just your head back for me. I'm just going to just going to look real quick up into the nose. Just want to make sure that the septum is in alignment. There's no perforation. And that the cavity For color, there's no blockage. Okay, that looks great. You can go ahead and tip your head back. We're just going to do a little perfunctory smell test here. I'm going to have you just close your eyes for me. Okay, and I'm going to hold something under your nose. And I want you to just tell me what it is that you smell. Okay? All right, so. Go ahead and take a little smell. Yes, yes, very good. That is that is alcohol from the sanitizer. So you can definitely smell strong smells, which is good. And I think that that particular sense is intact. So cranial nerve number one looks good. Okay, and let's go ahead and take a look at your mouth and your throat. Okay, so I'm going to have you open your mouth, and I'm going to just pop this tongue depressor along your tongue. I'll look at your throat first, okay? Here we go. Any trouble with swollen tonsils or... Frequent sore throats. Any trouble with swallowing? Okay. Very good. Right? I'm just going to look in your mouth a little bit. Very nice teeth. Those are quite nice. And just going to have you lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth, please. Very good. Okay, excellent. And if you could stick your tongue out for me. Like that. And can you move it to one side and the other? Good, and go up and down. Good, all right. And this is going to be a little uncomfortable, but I'm just going to be feeling right around your throat here, okay, in this area. 
and I want you to swallow for me, okay? So whenever you're ready. Okay, good. And was there any pain with that? Any difficulty? One side feel different than the other? No? Okay. Good. And I didn't feel any, any fluttering of your thyroid. That's good. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a listen to your heart and lungs. So I'm bringing the stethoscope back. Alright, we're gonna start with your heart, okay? So I just want you to breathe normally for me, okay? In the past, have you had any issue with with any cardiac problems? Do you have a family history of cardiac issue? No, that's good. Okay, you start with the Aortic, aortic valve here. Okay. Mm hmm. We move to pulmonic. Good. And the tricuspid valve here. And around the mitral. Okay, and then I just want to listen to your apex beat real quick. So we've got mid clavicular line, fifth intercostal space right there. Okay, let's keep breathing normally. Excellent. So, I want to take a little listen to your lungs real quick, okay? You have any any troubles with your lungs at all? Any asthma? Any family history of COPD, emphysema, cancer? No? Okay. This time, I'm going to prompt you when you should breathe, okay? I want you to take a deep breath in for me. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. Breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Good. Okay. Quite pleased with that. I don't think we have to we have to drag that out any further. I'm going to take a couple of notes real quick, then we'll move on to your abdomen. And I'll pop that stethoscope back in. Okay. All right. Let's do that again. My ears quite like the a quick respite when I am writing down some notes, okay? So, I'm just going to auscultate around your abdomen. I'm going to listen to your organs, make sure they're making the right sounds, that kind of deal, okay? So, I just want you to breathe normally for me. Mm -hmm. This may take just a little bit of time. There's a lot of organs in this particular cavity. 
are all extraordinarily important. We want to make sure they're all working in tandem. Good, good, good. And I think that will be the last we use the stethoscope. Now I'm going to do some palpation on your stomach. And this can be a little uncomfortable. I will do a light pressured palpation first, and then I'll get in with a deeper pressure, okay? So both of these, I want you to just Keep breathing normally. Sometimes it helps to breathe a little deeper, okay? It won't last for too long, right? I just want to warn you up front. All right, so I'm just going to start with our light palpation. Feeling the contours of the organs. Let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. Feeling for any, any swollen spots. Soft spots. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that deeper pressure. I want you to just remember to breathe, okay? Not fun indeed, but it's quick. Okay, there we go. So that's it. <laughs> yeah, just like I warned you. All right, so that felt quite ordinary, which is good, quite normal. I want to take a quick look at your extremities, okay? So, we'll start with the arms. Just want to just want to look at the skin. Feel the muscle a bit. Okay. Good. I'm just going to look at the hands. I'm just going to test the capillary refill on your nails. Okay, and that all pinks right back up within two seconds, which is good. Okay, you have any issues with any of your joints at all? Yeah, I've got to touch a touch a carpal tunnel in both arms myself. Wouldn't wish that one on anybody. Gonna look at the other arm. We're gonna be doing a little bit of movement testing later. I won't be rolling everybody around just yet. Just checking the capillary refill. Okay. Right, and these joints are okay. Not feeling any swelling. Nails are of good quality. Okay, let's take a look at your legs then. Right, there isn't usually too many things we gotta watch out for with the legs, but we are looking for skin slash textural changes. Just feeling the quality, the tone of the muscle. Okay, and with the feet, I'm just gonna press on your toes. We'll check that capillary refill here. Good. Okay, I'm just gonna grab the reflex hammer. We'll do some do some reflex checking. Okay. 
So I'm going to use the, the blade here along the bottom of your feet. That would be our Babinski's reflex. Okay, so just let your feet dangle. It's going to stroke up the sole. <laughs> just like that. Stroke up the sole. Good. Now I'm going to be just tapping on your Achilles tendon. Okay. Right. Just let your feet hang. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. So now your knee jerk reflex. Just let your let your legs dangle. Okay. Good. Very good. And now I'm going to I'm gonna do a couple reflexes on your arms. I want you to just relax your arms. And I'm gonna take I'm gonna take one arm and put my thumb right in the crook of your elbow. And I'm just gonna be tapping on my thumb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm just gonna do the other arm real quick. I'm gonna wrap my hand around your elbow, put my thumb right in the crook of your elbow. Good. Now we're going to Test your triceps reflex. So I'm just going to be picking up your arm here. Okay? Just let me take the weight of it. And arm, your forearm just dangles down. And right at the top, I'm going to just tap. Tap. Good. Lay that back down. Pick the other arm up. Right at the top, at the back of the elbow. Okay, good. All right. We could do the jaw jerk reflex, but that one really doesn't need necessarily to be done. So, yeah, I can do that. If you're curious. So I'm just going to have you just have your mouth open a little bit, okay? Just like that. I'm going to press my thumb to your chin. Nothing happens. On a normal response, nothing happens. So you can close your mouth. Okay. And you're just going to test some mobility in your joints. want to make sure that you're up to snuff when it comes to the demands of this particular job. Okay. So if you could just roll your wrists around for me. Okay? Any pain with that? Can you hold them out in front of you? Mm-hmm. Can you cock back your wrists, just like that? Uh-huh. And can you let them hang down? Okay. Can you go as far back as you can? And how about all the way up? Very good. If you wouldn't mind, I just want to see them real quick. Just want to look at the elbows and the shoulder. Okay. Let's get a little bit of movement in there. Good. Okay. Elbows. And then the shoulder, rolling that around. Good. Can you shrug your shoulders for me? Very good. Okay. I'm going to have you put your arms up like this. I'm going to try pushing you. I want you to resist me. Okay. Good. And I'm going to try to pull you towards me. I want you to resist me. Good. Right? I'm going to put my hands on top of your legs, and I'm going to push down. I want you to push up against me. Okay? 
I'm just going to slide my hands under your legs and I'm going to try to lift them. I want you to resist me. Good. All right. And with your shins here, I'm going to try to push them back. I want you to resist me. Good. I'm going to try to pull them towards me. I want you to resist me. Good. I'm going to push down on the tops of your feet. I want you to resist me. Good. And I'm going to try to pull up, and I want you to resist me. Good. I'm just going to feel around the ankle and roll the foot around a little. Okay. The other. All right. And I just want to check your gait real quick. I'm going to have you stand up for me. Yep. And if you could just walk to the end of the room. It's just a short little jog. Just walk normal. Okay, and if you could come back and walk on your toes. Yep, on your tiptoes. Good. And if you could walk back on your heels. Mm -hmm. Good. And if you could come back but walk heel to toe. So... Your heel, your toes will touch your heel. You go just like that, one foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You can go ahead and sit down. So, I think that you have passed your physical examination. So, I don't think there's anything you need to put in your file, necessarily. And I think that you will be clear to move on with Dr. Smith. Okay. I imagine she has something quite interesting to show you. Alright, just finishing up. Okay, I'm going to sign off. Okay, you have any questions at all? No, not really. Okay, well, I'm going to put that in your file, and should you choose to stay with the SCP Foundation, then we will be conducting another one of these in a year's time, okay? Now, before you move on to Dr. Smith, I just want to reiterate that everything you see and hear here is confidential, all right? I want you to make sure that you aren't inadvertently slipping up with any information. This is very sensitive information. And should any of this get out, you would you would be terminated. Mm-hmm. In in a word, yeah. So I want you to just keep that in mind when you move on to Dr. Smith. Alright? Some of these things completely far beyond what we thought. But, gotta be smart, and gotta keep that to yourself. Okay? Excellent. So, your examination's all complete. Got everything in tip-top shape. I'm gonna hand you off to her then. Okay? Thank you so much for coming to me for this examination. I hope you enjoy your training. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Thank you. Bye now.
Hello. I apologize. I didn't hear anyone come in. I take it you're our new employee. Yes. Very good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Smith. It's nice to meet you. Very good. We do appreciate you uh, joining our staff on such short notice. You came with a colorful recommendation. Yes. And it's with an unfortunate loss that our newest employee decided to take a um, long leave of absence. Yes, I do hope they're enjoying their rest. Anyway, here is your security badge. You are a level one. Do not lose this. If you lose your badge, you can no longer get into your patient's rooms or any other locations on site. And losing your badge is an immediate cause of termination. This place is confidential, so this is very important. Here you are. Good. Now, I will be introducing you to your new patients. You'll have two to start. You will follow me around and shadow me. And once I see that you appear comfortable, I will let you handle them on your own. Now, I take it that you were with Dr. Calliope and you had a physical assessment and examination. Is this correct? Yes, she is wonderful. She is our head of our medical staff here. Yes. I am lead of all of the containment procedures for all SCPs in this facility. Though, since we have become recently short-staffed, I have been looking for assistance in taking over some of these cases of clients. And that is where you come. Now, we like to keep our facility very immaculate and contaminated, so what I'm going to do is give you some quick measurements to get you a better fitting lab coat and scrubs that you'll change into upon arrival, and then when you leave for work, you'll change back into your civilian clothes and head home. Does this sound good? I'll be quick, just hold still here. I'm just going to get your torso here. Quiet. Okay. And the length of your shoulders. Yes, I see they gave you temporary scrubs in your jacket. It looks nice, but looks a little large. I'll get you one that's better fitting for you. We decontaminate them every night, so when you come in, it's sterile and ready to go. Stick out your right arm for me here. Just going to measure that. Great. And to the other side. And lastly, around your waist here. Have to get a little close, is that okay? Good, 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 good. Okay. Now, do you have any questions for me so far? Yes, I'm sure they gave you a thorough explanation of your job requirements here. Yes. I'm afraid this job can be quite dangerous, but with the proper training, and as long as you stay alert, everything should be okay. Let me enter the measurements here. That is all set up and good to go. I have printed out your case studies here, so allow me to go grab those and we'll get started. 
All right, you stay right here and I'll be right back. subscribe.